Okay, hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Now, I'm really excited for today's video. I do have a topic in mind I want to talk about. We're going to do in today's video a little reflection. Uh, and I would do a speed drawing part, but you guys have been seeing a lot of awful, well, not awful, but speed drawing uh, ink. And I hopefully you don't get bored of that. Um, but I want to do a reflection of ink drawings and kind of this video let me rephrase that let me say that um this video is about um let's learn what ink has taught me and what ballpoint pen has taught me because this is the weekend and let me take you back a week because i've been doing this for a week now so this would be last weekend on Saturday. I started this out at my friend's apartment. And um, so and I am calling to myself, you know, I wonder if I could do an ink challenge. And here we are, weekend ahead. And I wasn't even thinking of the weekend ahead. I just wanted to do it in 15 days. Call me crazy, but I want to have a body of work of ink portraits and saying that I can actually do it. And have um believe in myself that i can instead of being like oh ink portrait every now and then um so this is kind of like my mini inktober um so i'm going to do today's video what ink has taught me and i will go through the drawings instead of doing actual speed drawing um so we uh we are on as i talk um we just finished up day seven, which is girl wearing glasses. Um, but let me reflect back to day one. Um, if you've been following me around last weekend, I started day one and it had a little bit of history. So if you've been following me a while, you know that history, so I won't go into it. But this is day one. This is female hat. I mean, female face wearing hats, which is this one right here. My goal for this one was to uh, fill up the whole page with the illustration. And I think I did a good job. The, I want to talk about the history a little bit, but I won't go into detail. The hat uh, was to the edges of the paper. And I didn't really like that. So I'm worried to fill in the black with ink. So I'm at a contrast and I'm very happy with this. Uh, portrait, one of my favorites. I'm done. So there's day one. Day two. Oh, let's see. It's this one I'm very happy with. You can see on the face that uh, I haven't learned cross notching yet. And I just learned it tonight. So uh, I'm very happy with the minimalism lines. Um, I'm going for minimalistic here. And that's why I cut the, the head here, and I'm very happy with this. And I add black contrast in the background, so I'm very happy with this one. So, we'll get to the point of what Inktober has taught me, or Inktober, sorry, what my ink drawing taught me um, in a minute. But I wanted to reflect on the drawing first uh so this is day three old man really happy with this and i will talk about this part and shading um in a minute so i've been learning techniques and uh things like that so that was day three this is day four which is i'm not gonna say the word because of youtube regulations uh i'm only going to flash this for a minute Pop the video if you want to see the drawing, but, uh, and this is day five, uh, ponytail and the eye, I'm working with profiles guys, so, uh, bear with me, but the eye is, uh, looking strangely, and I already knew that when I'm going into it, but, uh, I finished it anyways, and I'm glad I did, so this is day five, so, um, let's see here. Uh, and this is my big gigantic sketchbook, 11 by 14. 
I love this side now. I used to be afraid of it, but I love it now because you get all the detail you want. Um, so I restarted and started the sketchbook over and over again, and I felt like after drawing, I was like, you know what? You can draw, you can do it. Just stick to your rules, stick to the guidelines, stick to what you've been teaching yourself. Um, this is day six, old lady, and I got her in a hat. This was the reference picture I wanted to draw for the longest time, and I'm able to do it now. So I'm very happy with it. Yeah, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, um, I tell the story how I had to restart, start it over. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. That's the main part of the video for today. And this is day seven, which is today's portrait. Now, I'm not fond of the shading I did on her face today, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but this one I'm kind of happy with, just the shading of her face it looks a little hairy. But nonetheless, uh, I kind of rushed it, so um, there's no reason for that in a minute. But there is day seven. So tomorrow is day eight, which is meal phase, and I cannot wait because I've been playing with zooming in on the faces and zooming out and doing all that kind of stuff. Cropping and recropping and um, just playing with thumbnails in general and playing out my portraits ahead of time. Um, by that said, let's go ahead and talk about what you can taught me. Uh, number one, the one fact that Inkath taught me is that it's okay to start over. Uh, now, let me say that again. It is okay to start over because ink is part of it. Uh, pencil and can erase and you can just grab another piece of paper. Now, if it's good paper or you just put the process on, it's okay to start over. Uh, number two, that was number one. Number two, be patient with yourself. You're learning a new medium, you're learning a new uh, outlook, and you're learning a new style. Um, that is number two. Be patient, be kind with yourself. And a lot of my friends are saying on Instagram, don't be so hard on yourself, you're being hard on yourself. Relax. The only time I'm being too hard on myself, guys, is if I need to take care of myself by showering or um, doing other things around the house or something like that. And, you know, I was getting into that right. I didn't even want to play Animal Crossing yesterday. That's how our blocked I was um, yesterday. So I got out of it. I was like, you know what? And now I feel inspired again. Um, I cannot wait. Like, I'm even doing a portrait in my small sketchbook. And I think I improved a little bit with the cross hatching because it's done a little carry. And she was smiling. So I'm really happy with that. At first, I thought I messed up with the nose, but I wasn't done shading the nose, so, um, pretty happy with this one so far, and I can't wait to shade the face with cross I've been learning tonight, and taking a few sculpture classes, and that's been helping me get out of the rut, so, um, uh, number one was start over, number two was be kind, don't be hard on yourself, number three is take care of yourself, number four, um, what was number four? This is why you don't have notes. Um, there was something else that I wanted to... Oh, yeah, number four. This is kind of borderline of taking care of yourself if you're hungry. On uh, day seven. Um, I get hungry a lot. And we do have food in the house. And don't worry about that. We do have lots of food. Um, it's just sometimes it hits me so hard. I tend to rush my portraits. And my life becomes shaky. And you guys... If you've been there and you know that feeling, um, let me know. <laughs> so, it, yeah, it's just one of the things that I feel like and have a snack on hand or something. You know, the famous YouTube line, go grab a drink or something. Or that's why they always have a drink in the beginning of the video or, you know, something to encourage you to go get one. But, yeah, so those are the four tips I have today, what Ink taught me so far. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, let me know in the comments. Um, I can do a Q&A about pen and ink. So if you have any pen and ink questions that you want, go to my Instagram and leave them on my recent post. 
or any of my posts on there or message me directly on Instagram, email me at 08. I post there daily, sometimes twice a day, more times a day, or anything. So uh, let's do a pen and ink Q&A soon. So send me your questions. We know what you think. And thank you for watching this 10-minute video. And hopefully, yeah, I mean, I really don't have much else to say. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and turn your notification bell on. There we go. Bye, guys. I can turn it off.